This is an awful insulation, and I have a hunch I know who the builder is. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert sessions here at Boat How To. We're Nigel and Jan, and today we have a question regarding electrical systems. My boat came from the builder with a house battery bank consisting of seven AGM batteries in parallel, three in front of the engines and four just a few feet away under the port bunk. Okay, that doesn't sound really good already. If we had a flooding incident, the batteries in front of the engine would be at risk of being submerged. Would the batteries immediately short? Other than the batteries, would other parts of the electrical system be damaged? If there is a danger of personal injury if standing in the water outside the engine compartment while trying to stem the leak? Okay. Well, what are your thoughts about that, Nigel? This is an awful insulation, and I have a hunch I know who the builder is. <laughs> I've seen some of these. So let's let's address the uh, the last questions first. If if some of the batteries get submerged because they're considerably lower in the boat than the others, what's going to happen? Well, if it's salt water, you're going to get straight current between the battery posts, and you'll get some fizzing and so on going on there. But um, it's not going to blow up and it's not going to electrocute you if you have to be standing in the water in front of it. And uh, it's not going to immediately damage the rest of the electrical system and the voltage on the system will start to crash. So that's not really the, 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 the core issue here. The core issue is the installation itself. Uh, we've got seven batteries in parallel and almost certainly, because I've seen this over and over again, we've gone from positives on one battery to the positive to the positive to the positive and then out to the boat system and then the negative 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 so we're taking the conductors to the boat off of the battery at one end of this set of seven batteries or five batteries or however many it is that are parallel that is a, a mechanism for killing all the batteries prematurely because the battery at the end where the boat is connected to the system will do twice as much work as the battery at the far end of the of the parallel pack and uh, every battery will get out of balance with the other one and will kill all the batteries prematurely. Uh, the other problem we've got here is that some of those batteries are in the engine compartment. So when the engine's running, it's going to have a high ambient temperature and others of them are in a cooler space. So the batteries are going to be at different temperatures. Uh, and that again will make them operate differentially in terms of the charging current they absorb and the, and the loads that they support. And once again, we're going to kill them all prematurely. So we need to put all these batteries in the same ambient temperature. And if we can't, then we can't do it this way. And then we need to come off all of the positive terminals to a bus bar. And every conductor from each battery to the bus bar needs to be the same length and the same size. And then the same on the negative side. And that way we balance out the current flows and under charge and discharge. And we'll pretty much guarantee that those batteries live way longer than what they're going to do in this boat. And if you want to learn how to do it properly and uh, in general how to plan your system in the way that the life of the batteries is optimized, um, check out our Boat Electrics 101 course where we talk about that in great detail. Check it out, boathowto.com.